uh, infrastructure. So one of the prerequisites for the service provider when uh, providing MPLS uh, IPvP and services is that uh, the LSPs must exist, exist between all the endpoints before transport connection may be um, uh, established. Uh, this is very important uh, uh, because uh, uh, that is the only way the service provider can sell a service to the customer saying no matter where your remote offices are, we will provide connectivity. The and only way you can achieve that is by having these uh, LSPs uh, existing between all the edge uh, routers. Now this is not uh, going to be a waste uh, because you can uh, reuse the same LSP for uh, different uh, kinds of uh, traffic. It could be IP traffic, it could be L2 transport uh, uh, traffic. You can use the same LSP that you've built. In, in this slide, I'm uh, using uh, LSP and tunnels interchangeably. Um, um, I, I think uh, 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 tunnel in, in this case really stands for the uh, MPLS LSP that is uh, uh, Another reason is that it becomes very scalable, which means uh, that uh, for different VPN customers, I could be uh, using the same LSP for transporting the uh, traffic. So it makes it very scalable. By scalable, uh, we mean that the, the service provider uh, gets the capability to support more and more uh, customers with less and less of provisioning within his uh, network. Now there are different kinds of uh, MPLS uh, tunnels or LSPs that you can build within your uh, network. Uh, if you use the RSVP TE uh, uh, protocol to build, you can build uh, traffic engineering and resource reservation based uh, 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 tunnels. And, and uh, if you want uh, just the best effort kind of a tunnel that you want to build, you would use the LDP uh, protocol. This is again uh, a service model that a service provider can choose. Uh, there are a lot of customers uh, who will say, I want this amount of bandwidth to be guaranteed uh, for my traffic, in which case the uh, service provider is going to sell them the LSPs which are built based on uh, RS3P. And then there are some customers who say, as long as I get the connectivity, it should be fine. Then they are not looking for very stringent uh, uh, QoS requirements, in which case they can use LDP to build the uh, LSPs and sell that uh, service. Now there are some other uh, uh, terminologies that we need to be aware of. This is we are really getting into the um, uh, implementation of uh, uh, MPLS uh, uh, IP uh, VPN. Uh, so one of the terminologies that you will find people using is uh, this called VRF. Uh, basically it's nothing but uh, uh, VPN routing and forwarding uh, uh, information. Then uh, route target is another terminology that uh, people need to be aware of. Uh, it, it is nothing but a color or an attribute that you associate with a particular uh, BGP route. And then there is another terminology called route distinguisher. Uh, we talked earlier about a scenario wherein uh, we want to be able to use the same IP address across different uh, customers. So the route distinguisher uh, allows you to uh, do that. If you see the uh, thing in uh, blue just below, you know, for every IP address that you learn, if you tag it with uh, a route distinguisher, uh, it makes a particular route um, uh, unique. That means two different uh, VPN customers can use the same IP address, but when I club it with the route distinguisher, which is unique for uh, each customer, the whole 